All right, God bless you. This is part number two. <coughs> I promised that I would do a part number two dealing with the father and the son. On yesterday, or today, whenever you get this, we showed scripture, Revelation chapter 1, Revelation chapter 21. The Son of God is after the Omega beginning and end. Revelation 21, God the Father after the Omega beginning and end. But in, but in one difference, the Son of God was dead. Let's look at that. Revelation 1, it ain't. This Son of God right here, I'm after the Omega the beginning and the end, said the Lord, which is which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Now, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and, the, and in the kingdom, and patience in Jesus Christ, was in the hour that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Now, go to verse... 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, girt about with paps and golden, with a golden girdle, his head and his hand were white like wool, and white as though his eye was as flame of fire, and his feet like a fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. And his voice was as the, his voice as the sound of many waters, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth with a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not. I am the first and the last. Watch this. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. Now that's the Son of God. He was dead. Now in Revelation 21, we're going to show you God. The Father. Revelation 21 3. And I heard a voice out of heaven say, Behold, the tabernacle of God would be that he will dwell with them, and they shall be a people. And God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor cry, neither shall there be no pain. One of the former things I passed away, and he has set up on the throne, said, Behold, I make all things new. He said, Be right, these word, but they are faith and truth. This is God sitting on the throne. Remember, the Lamb took the book out of the right hand of God and sat on the throne. Remember Revelation 3.21? Jesus said, He had overcome it, shall sit with me in my throne. As I am overcame and sat down with my father in his throne at Revelation 321. Verse 6, he said to me, It is done, I am Alpha, I am Alpha, and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcome shall inherit all thee. I will be his God. And he shall be my son. Now that's God talking. But the difference in God in the Father and the Son, the Father never was dead. But the Son did die. The Son were crucified. <laughs> you see a difference, but both of them have an omega. 
because the son was with the father in the beginning. You find that in John chapter 17. Now let me show let me show you something. Let me show you something. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Stay in chapter 21 and verse 22. And I saw no temple thereof, therein. For the Lord God Almighty, watch this, and the Lamb are the temple of it. The Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. The Father was never the Lamb. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Verse 23, we in Revelation 21. And the city had no need of sun, neither of moon, to shine in it, for the glory of God did lighten it and the Lamb is the light thereof. How many of y'all see that? Chapter 22. And he showed me a pure river a wad of life, clear and crystal, proceeded out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. Now go back to Revelation 3.21. Jesus said, I grant to sit with me in my throne as I am overcame and set down my father his throne. You see that? Verse 3, and, th and there shall be, of uh, uh, chapter 22 of Revelation, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. You see the throne of God? And of the Lamb. Both of them. Jesus and his Father. Alright. Now. Now, I want to show you, see, sha, 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 sha. Remember Stephen? He said, he looked up and he said, I, I see Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Remember all the apostles preached that you see in here. They preach Christ on the right hand. Seek, seek, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Christ on the right hand of God making intercession for the saints. Praise God. Reference throughout the Bible, Christ on the right hand of God. I want to show you that the Son of God and God his Father. Praise God. You got to recognize both of them. Well, thank God. That's enough. Thank you for it.